If a man is not interested in these so-called average women, why do they leave impregnate them? Over here, I deal strictly with facts, data, and statistics above uh, above anything else. That's okay? correct. Okay. Okay. Well, let's first start off with with the fact that 54% of black men are single and childless. 30% of black men are married. And the children that come out of that marriage are are exempted from your statement. That so is correct. The, so that gives us 54 and 30. That's 84. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. means a full 80% of the children being made in the black community are being made by less than 20% of the men. So to answer your question is, why are women having children with men with multiple children? Fatality. Flawless victory. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. And man, um, they better catch on real quick, man, because that 54% is going to dwindle and it's looking like it's not going to be going towards uh, black women, so to speak. And yeah, I know I probably hurt some feelings and y'all can sit over here and hop in the comments talking about some we don't care. And <laughs> yeah, but you took the time to throw the comment in saying you don't care. And you took the time to watch and you took the time to hit the dislike button. Yeah, but you don't care. Okay, sure. But um, apparently there is a video going around and it's been making around. It's uh, a pair of black women apparently that are in their feelings. <laughs> because it was some black guys, I guess, that they saw out that they liked. And they was in their feelings and they feel like. Yeah, I said feel like because we know that's how they talk. Um they are in intimidated by us but they didn't have any problem talking to um becky and them Ooh. so we're gonna hear what they had to say man let's uh let's see what it's talking about when you use the word intimidation what do you two mean Brittany and i were out at a restaurant and there were a group of men there uh -huh. no one approached us this was a younger crowd of guys nobody approached us like we're just sitting at the bar and we were just like you oh. lose so nobody's gonna come up here Insane. Were they looking in your direction or were they not even paying you guys attention? I'm going to say something controversial. Okay. Oh. It's a very Dallas thing. I Coming from Atlanta to see so many black men here not be interested in black women because they were talking. Oh, they did. To so it was other women at the bar. Rebecca. So we were walking out and I was like, well, I'm just going to say something to them. So I was like, what are y'all here for? And they're like, oh, reunion. Like I'm dismissed. Walking. Like I've answered your question. <laughs> but Rebecca and Claire were getting full engaged drinks engagement, at drinks, the bar. <laughs> whole, and this is like a crowd of probably like 10 plus yeah. black men. <laughs> Brother on my arm, no brother on your arm. They is hurt. Why y'all so hurt? Why? 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 I, I, it, it's strange, man. Because you you'll see you 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 see it all the inter, in the internet all the time how women complain about um, being approached and you know how they'll be real short with you and they'll kind of come off real dismissive. I'm like it, 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 it's. It's funny to see how women react when the tables are turned in that scenario, huh? <laughs> oh man, on to the next clip. How hard is it in the dating oh, world now? Oh my god! <laughs> what is it like out there for for, for a single woman? Do we have a shot woman? of tequila? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I haven't been single for five years, yeah. so huh? I don't know what this world is like out there. But I know, but from what I see and from what I hear, it is tough. It is very tough. Mm -hmm. And it is exhausting. <laughs> like, it's exhausting. I want to throw the towel in. <laughs> Someone had told me, and I was, I, I, I wanted to be like, no, I, I disagree with you, and I don't want to believe it. My last relationship, when dating was, you know, when I was, you know, dating this person, it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was wonderful. There was courting that was, you know, involved. Um, and I was saying how I feel like that's no longer, you know. 
uh, present, meaning like people just don't court each other anymore. And this person was like, well, you know, that's just, that's old news. Like people, people just don't do that anymore. There's just this whole new way of doing things. And I'm like, you mentioned tradition, you know, and I think that's where it kind of needs to go back to, you know, where, you know, a man is, um, courting a woman and, and showing her, you know, how much he appreciates her and wants her and loves her or wants to be with her. They have this mentality right off the bat that there is someone else. Do you know what I mean? Like there, there could be someone else. That is it that they're the prize? Yes. Yes. We talking deep here. Yes. We about to get into it. Oh my God. That the, that the man is the prize. The man is the prize. Yes. I'm talking loud. Yes. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, in your scenario, that kind of is the case because you've reached a certain level of success and with when it comes to hypergamy, you're going to have a hard time dealing with somebody lower than you. I mean, if that was if that wasn't the case, then why would you leave Corey? You stupid. And you're 45 now. But I digress. Let's keep it moving. Oh, yeah, bro. And this is one of them simp dudes right here, bro. He another he another panda bear. Chris Go Perry. Yeah, he's the one. Men, men aren't obsessed with women anymore, and it's scary. Like he, he's that guy. That, that's why he talking like that, man. He's a panda bear, bro. Y'all gotta watch out for him. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm like, yeah, shoot, shoot me some of his content his way. I'm like, I will roast his ass. Let's keep it moving. Also, it seems as if men are now just looking at women as objects things are so um it's like instant gratification you know what i mean they just want something like quick quick and easy and now <laughs> ladies i need for y'all to ease up off my boy Corey a little bit it was tia that initiated the divorce tia wanted to run to the streets Corey walked into a bakery and got him a sugar cookie now, Corey Hardrick, Tia Moore's ex-husband, has started dating. Sources say his female friend is a young blonde lady from Caucasian Decitiaceous, which Tia is mixed too, lest y'all forgot. So, as you guys can see, the brother has moved on, according to this on-site, and from the looks of it, <laughs> guess what? Young, black, young, blonde, white woman. Imagine that. Now, Corey is supposedly two years younger than Tia. Now, Tia is 45, which will make him 43. Now, he's pretty much priming it right now. And, and, and you know, and he's worth some money now. So, it, it, man, dude, the dating pool is pretty much wide open for him, you know? You know what I mean? He, he could start a whole nother family if he want to. For Tia, however, it's a lot harder. That's why she out here on the struggle bus and over here in her feelings because she's having a harder time than him. I keep telling you guys, bro, men are always going to get the last laugh, man. That, that's the best part about controlling access to marriage. And the best, and the, and the, and the even bad, bad, um, excuse me, the even worst part about it is the way she's been handling this, the whole divorce situation compared to him, like, bro, like it, it, it is, it, it doesn't look good and men are seeing this. So it's like, you're not making yourself any more desirable in this situation. If anything, you made your husband even more desirable by acting this way. And the whole time he just been quiet and chilling and doing him and still being there for his kids, supposedly. So shout out to Corey, bro. He been doing the damn thing, man. And he got the last laugh. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> Everybody, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. There has been so much going on since last night. And honestly, it all happened because Rome from the YouTube channel, Average Man Unplugged, has decided to critique one of my videos and actually tag my name under it. Thank you so much again for that. And I have seen or heard your shout outs towards, you know, me and uh, my husband if we are together of course as far as together in um one location um to join one of your shows we would absolutely 
absolutely love to. Um, right now, we are in a long distance marriage because I'm still in Germany and he is in America handling some business. But I think we can still make it happen. You know, thanks to uh, this technology, we can all be on different continents and actually come together and speak about brilliant topics. So once again, thank you so much. And I just wanted to say real quick, everything that I have said in the video that he has critiqued, what I'm talking about, that every average man, especially American men, deserve a submissive feminine woman is true. It's true when I'm telling you that beautiful, feminine, especially natural, committed women are out here in Germany looking for specifically American men. I'm going to have to say everybody has a type that they favor. And I would have to admit that it's mainly the black American guys that we are into. I am not even going to lie to you. There are locations, there are clubs, there are est establishments where women like myself, not anymore since I'm married, used or still go to because they know that Americans are going to be there. We have army bases, we have army forces that are still stationed here in Germany, such as in Karlsruhe, Geilenkirchen, or um, Rammstein. You know, I know that there are a lot of ladies today, even still today, going to certain parties because they know that the brothers be there doing their thing. And I just don't want to sound some type of way. I'm not trying to make no American female feel some type of way about us trying to snatch anybody's man. It's not even about that. It's just us loving Americans, loving the culture, loving the looks. We love the way they talk. We love the way they walk. We love the way they smell, their swag. I mean, there is just so much. And just to sum it up, you can really just go ahead and listen to Estelle's song, American Boy. I always say that because in that song, when I heard it for the very first time, I was like, girl, you just snatched all of those words right out of my mind, my mouth, everything, you know? And I can just tell you from my experience with my husband, I met him in Philly back in 2001. And the moment I seen that man, I knew I want him or nobody else I didn't care who I had to go to and talk to I didn't care who I have to beat up I can't even fight in order to get that man I didn't care it was like it's either him or no one and I'm just mentioning that because the competition the competition is high competition is high as hell so when you have a uh, European woman actually spotting an American and especially when he's black he's fit you know he's just handsome and, and everything else knows how to dress talk and walk that's it it's on it's on. That's all you need. You don't have to prove that you are God knows who. You don't have to prove your net worth. You don't have to prove your network. No. You just got to be yourself. You got to have somewhat a little bit of game. You know, that, you know, that American talk that we are just so all into over here. And um, that's basically about it. That's it. That's about it. Y'all just really sleeping on Germany. And the reason why I'm telling people to come to Germany is because there are so many different women from different countries and, um, continents and everywhere it's crazy i mean all of you guys or a lot of guys they decide to go to thailand yes i would never doubt that there are beautiful women out there but there are women from thailand and germany there are women from turkey and germany women from spain italy egypt you know from everywhere like germany is an extreme diverse country and every american i'm telling you every american that came here for one they never wanted to leave and those who actually had the option to stay here they never looked back I'm telling you, and this is not me just talking out of my behind. I'm not trying to gas nobody up, but it's really a fact that I at least know of 10 women who are in long distance relationship with American men because they are trying to make it work. They're trying to be there for the men. They're willing to, you know, leave the country, relocate. And it's not because of the green card. I can always say it again. America is not what it used to be anymore. There are so many more benefits over here in Germany. Like if my husband would come back to Germany over here right now, he wouldn't even have to have no health insurance, you know, no, no, wow. nothing. We are married. I, he can just be insured uh, over me, you know. There are so many benefits, like so much less struggle than in America. So it's really not about us doormats trying to be Americanized. It's not even about that. And um, yeah, just, just, just look into it. That's all I can say, look into it. And also, once again, thank you so much, um, Rome, from the channel Average Man Unplugged. I'm going to send you that email so we can collaborate on some um, content for sure. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. I, I'm going to tag, I'm going to tag you in this video as well because I've noticed since I reacted to your video, your channel has grown quite a bit. Um, so make you guys man make sure y'all subscribe to her channel um i know a few other women that are uh, wives of passport bros and i kind of got an idea of something in the works and i think i would love for you to be a part of it um but um you know if there's ever a time where like 
Well, damn, man, because if your husband is over here, that means he's kind of like on the same time as me. I don't know. Just just send me an email and, and we'll figure it out. All right. Um, but yeah, you guys, y'all y'all heard her, man. Um, you know, I've been told by, you know, between what I'm reacting to her, international passport, other guys in the comments, former military, everybody says that um, the women in Germany love African-American men. So, I mean... It is what it is, but y'all know y'all y'all know my saying on here, bro. Just go where you're accepted, man, and go where you're appreciated, regardless of where regardless of where you at or where you going. All right, man. Much love. Shout out to S to the B, and again, thank you so much for supporting the movement. And again, I will leave, I will tag her um, channel in the description. Please subscribe to her channel, you guys. All right. Um, and let me know what y'all think about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments as well as my latest mixtape, Lost Music Volume 2. And if you want to purchase the merch, the Spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, you guys. Deuces.